Poplar medical expert, Dr. Cedric McFadden, is joining us now to talk a little bit about prescription medication and the coronavirus and what we need to keep in mind. And in general, the big question is, should patients continue taking their meds? So for the average patient, that answer is yes. So we're talking about medications for your heart, your high blood pressure medications, your diabetes medications, those medications are certainly fine to continue to take. Uh, you should never stop or decrease the dose because that could potentially cause other problems. Making sure you have enough medications, those supplies on hand, considering mail order for medications so you're not having to go to the pharmacy. But again, remember you should never make the solo or unilateral decision to hold on any medications that you're taking. And we've had a lot of questions about this from our viewers over mm -hmm. time. A lot of them asking, what about the medications that suppress your immune system? Yeah. I particularly remember some viewers asking about like steroids that treat conditions like asthma and lupus, mm -hmm. stuff like that. What yeah. about them? So many of the medications such as you mentioned, the steroids, the other biologic medications work by decreasing the body's immune response. Many of them can make you more susceptible to any infection, whether it be viral, fungal, or even bacteria. They work by suppressing or affecting the immune system. Now you could probably assume that taking these medications make you at a higher risk for COVID-19. Yeah. But no one knows for sure. Okay. No one knows for sure. Uh, and what we do know for certain is that stopping these medications suddenly can cause other problems because many of them need to be tapered before you quit. And if you hold or stop them quickly, it can cause flares, worsening pain, or other side effects. So always talk with your doctor, especially with these medications. Lots of research is being done, but more answers than questions, more questions than answers. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Are there other medications that should be stopped with? COVID-19. So one particular group of medications treating inflammatory bowel disease had some new recommendations behind it. The American Gastroenterology Association came out with new clinical parameters that suggested that patients who have inflammatory bowel disease may want to consider their medications if they test positive. So if you have inflammatory bowel disease, if you have Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, continue your medications. But if you test positive, your medications may need to be adjusted or may need to be temporarily held while you're going through the two week ordeal. Is that something that you have to like bring up to the doctor? Or are they gonna know that at the hospital if you mention, I mean, do you need to, cause some patients are getting there without family members Correct. who can't explain all this stuff. I mean, is it in the medical record that the doctors are gonna know? So many of the doctors that take care of these particular types of patients or have these types of medications on hand, they're very well versed in what's appropriate use, especially at this time. We're all paying attention to what's safe for our patients. But again, bring it up to your doctor if they're not bringing it up to you. And if your family member's there and can't communicate or something, tell the doctors Correct. about it. Correct, send a it. note, make yeah. a phone call. Make, let them know, okay. Yes. Well, what about um, patients and ibuprofen? Yes. We have heard so many questions about this. There's been a lot of uh, media coverage about ibuprofen. Should we be taking it or should we not? So no conclusive evidence that you should stop taking ibuprofen. The World Health Organization came out with a statement that says, look, basically, if you need this medication for your back pain or your arthritis, take the medication because there's no study that's really convincing that we should be holding this. And in terms of medications and supplements that boost the immune system, there's yes. a lot of, everybody's trying to give themselves the Find best the opportunity, fix. right? Yeah. 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 Well, you know, so when we look for evidence-based management, we come down to the basics, the simple, the mundane, sleep well, stress-free, exercise, eat well, and if you're smoking, quit smoking. All right, so eating well, if you're, eat, if, if you're eating the colors of the rainbow, mm -hmm. you know, you shouldn't need the vitamins, you shouldn't need the extra minerals. And so again, you may be able to save some money in your pocket by not investing a whole lot in all these extra things. If you can just focus on sleeping well, eating well, exercise, quit smoking, and you know, try to maintain stress levels. It's like back to the basics, plus wash back your hands. Basics. And the basics. Wash your hands. Absolutely. All right, we're back to the basics. Dr. Cedric McFadden will be taking your questions, so head on to the Facebook page. We're about to go live, and you'll have a chance to ask your questions, and we will uh, see you live at 5 yes. with some answers. Thank you. Thank you. You're watching Carolina's Family at 4. We'll be right back.